Oh, hello. Good morning. It is Boxing Day. It, oh, it is December 26th. It's Tuesday, I want to say. Yeah. Yeah, it's Tuesday. It's Arm Day. Arm, arm Day? Arm Day. I've got a, like a Rennie's type thing in my mouth at the moment. It's been a little bit bloated this morning, so... Uh, yeah, this is helping. So, it is 7.01 right now. I'm heading down to Cardiff with a U-Fit to train. Um, blessings on them for being open. So, the plan is to hit arms as quickly as possible, get in half hour of stairs, and then get my ass to work. Um, I'm going to finish at um, quarter past six, and that's me done for the day. So, yeah, I have no plans for tonight. Used to go to the pub with some friends when I was younger, or even younger than that, be like hanging out with my family all day. Like the whole plan on, on Boxing Day was, well, Christmas Day, we'd spend it at my house with my parents and everyone would come up here. And like, when I say the day, I mean like literally until like 8, 9 p.m. at night, which is why yesterday was really nice because we spent that long over Gareth's, like my cousins, um, with his like Zena, his wife and like their kids and stuff. So yeah, it was lovely. It was a really, really lovely day yesterday. Um, and then Boxing Day, the tradition was we'd go over to my auntie's house, which is, you know, where my cousin used to live. Um, and we'd have, like, um, cold meat and chips, egg, that type of stuff, and then, like, more presents and all that. So for me, Boxing Day was always, like, a, another big family day, which is why when I started working, like, in retail and stuff over Christmas when I was younger and all that, it always spun me out that people would like go out on Boxing Day. I never understood it. But yeah. And then when I went to uni and like made friends there and all well, my friendship group was getting older, like we'd go out on Boxing Day, which was nice. It was really nice to go to the pub on Boxing Day and see all your friends, but I don't think that's gonna happen tonight. I'm not against it happening. I might send a message to a couple of uh, mates and see what they're saying, but I've also got a fair bit to do. Like, I've got to edit a bunch of videos, because you're seeing this now, when it's Boxing Day. Chances are, this isn't going to come out until the 27th? Maybe later tonight, but I've got to put a voiceover on a couple of videos. It doesn't take long, it's just finding the time to find a quiet space to do it in. Which means I can't do it in work, which means I have to edit other videos in work, which is fine. So I've got some days uploaded already, which I haven't got to yet. Um, but yeah. We'll worry about that later. So, heading in. Plan is... We're gonna do... Try some buys. You know the drill. You know the score. Um, and then we're going to do some cardio. That's pretty much it. Um, regularly scheduled programming is presumed in terms of food. Um, have the omelette this morning. Have the oats. I've got to go food shop at some point. I might double check what time Aldi is open to tonight. I didn't work. Um... If not, I'll go tomorrow. I just need to get some, like, the usual bits from my fridge, that's all. Um, I need to get meat defrosted as well. I'm going to sort that out today. Yeah, basically, I've got a fair bit to do to get things back on, not back on track, but just a bare bit of normal stuff to do. Um, obviously, no food was prepped for today. So the plan is, after my shake, gym 
I don't know if they'll have any of the athlete kitchen stuff because obviously they would have been shut yesterday. If they do, I might grab some oats from there. If not, I'll just get a protein bar. And then I'll order a Subway for my lunch if they're open. Which they should be open. And yeah, we'll just do that. I mean, for me, like, I know Subway's not ideal, but for me, like, it, it's a... It's a bit of filling sandwich, and the fact that I can just get as much salad in it as I want, like, which is a hack which I did not even think of until literally watching a Sam Suet video months ago where he was doing, like, going to Subway all the time. Um, and yeah, like, asking to, like, just pile it full of, like, salad just means that you get a fuller sandwich. Who would have thought? Um, but yeah, now. pretty much all I've got to think about in terms of food for today. Um, obviously, woke up a little bit later than I wanted to, but it was Christmas yesterday. I'll, I don't care. Um, I can still get all my session done. Essentially, I'm going to get there by about 25 minutes past, I think, or 20 past. As long as I can get on the stairs by quarter past eight, we're good, and it's arms, so... It shouldn't take me more than 45 minutes to do. Like, back yesterday, it took me about 40 minutes to do. Chesty before, it was about 45 to an hour. Like, it, if your sessions are taking longer than that, I do question how much time are you actually utilizing. Like, do you need to have that much rest? Because I used to think I needed loads of rest, and I don't. So I started cutting down my rest periods. And then go in, like... When I'd be powerlifting, I'd be lifting... Like, say, my heavy squat or whatever, then I'd wait, like, six, seven minutes, eight minutes, maybe, then go again. There was some reasoning to that, which was to get used to what a flight is like. So, like, the when you're at a competition, the amount of lifters together competing in one group is called a flight. And, you obviously, you do your first squat, then you wait for the whole flight to go, and then it starts the second round of that flight. And then you do your second squat, same again, but then third squat. And you can have up to 14 lifters according to British Powerlifting or IPF rules, I think it was. So yeah, waiting up to 15 minutes for a, or 40 minutes for your next lift wasn't uncommon. So getting used to those longer rest periods made sense. But bodybuilding don't really need to have that. So yeah, the rest and recovery is nice. But like I'm losing like it's a diminishing like pump that I'm having. Why are you in the middle lane? People who hog the middle lane confuse me. Um, yeah, it's a confusing set of circumstances to have where you're looking at it like, cool, I gotta, I want to rest more, but also I don't want to like spend forever sat here, lose my pump, zoning out. Like, you want to be, like, focused on it all as much as you can. So, yeah. But let's have a look at your rest periods. On movements for, like, smaller muscle parts, as, but muscle parts, muscle groups as well. So, like, uh, your delts, your biceps, triceps. Um, I can't think of a... You know, aside from overhead pressing, a compound lift for overhead pressing as well. Not, like, a machine-based one, as in, like, a barbell free weight one. I can't think of anything that would be super taxing that would require you to have that much rest. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to chuck some music on now. I'm going to get ready to train. I'm going to sip on my... I've got the Hydro Flow that I've got left over. Um, basically, like, I just chuck it into one big bowl. Uh, one big bottle. You keep sipping on those leftovers. Got a conviction here. Um, and then when it gets time, I'll start chugging that. So I'm going to chuck some tunes on, and I'll see you in a bit. All right. So, fueled by all of Christmas Day's goodies, this arm session was uh, it was something special, to be honest. The pump I got at the end of it was incredible. I'm pretty certain I saw veins that I hadn't seen before. Uh... <laughs> Um, but yeah, it was a, um, 
it was a good session because I walked in and the first thing I saw when I walked up the stairs was one of my boys. Um, so I got to see Owen for a little bit and I hadn't seen him for a while. Um, and it was really, really nice to catch up with him uh, and see him again. And yeah, hopefully can bump into each other more often. Um, but yeah, it was a really good arm session. Usual stuff as we talked about before. So triceps, biceps, repeat, repeat, repeat until everything is done. Um, I'm trying to be stricter with things as well. So taking out the body English and being true to like each rep being like proper. Though there are times that I sometimes think like I could go a little bit harder on that. Or, you know, when you walk away from a set, you think, did I, did I actually do enough there? Do I have any more left in me? So, yeah, it's um, it's one of those things that plays in my mind with arm days because it's. I find that like I don't know about you, but I can gas out quite quickly, and by that I mean like reps one through six can feel absolutely fine. Rep seven comes along, and it's like someone's turning up the heat, and then reps eight onwards, if there are any more, are just horrible. There's a wine there. Look at the size of the boy. Look at him. Lovely man. I don't know what you're shouting at me there. Uh, surround yourself with people that make you do better. And by that I mean not people who put you down, but people that build you up. Owen is someone who was there for me when I was powerlifting. Um, and he's not the only one. There are others out there. There's um, Josh and Josh. Were both there for me and Gwen as well um, who through every session I ever did with them um, pushed me and challenged me to be better and do more and I'll never forget training with Owain when um, I started bulking and uh, we looked I squatted and it, I think it was like 175 I had on my back which for me at that time was like a it was a working weight it would have been like a you know I need to concentrate. Not too much, but I need to concentrate on it. And I remember he's like, I finished the rep and he looked at me as to be like, what the hell was that? Because of how fast it moved. Um, and it made training fun. If you can surround yourself with people that have that impact on your training, you're only going to progress. Um, so yeah, like, I surrounded myself with people who built me up and it really helped me out. And I don't need to talk about me doing curls on a Breacher bench or overhead extensions. All right. I the, the thing, if I can get anything from this training session, is surround yourself with people who help you progress. And that sounds really Instagram postable, but I just mean that if you're training with someone in the gym, make sure they're pushing you. Make sure you're pushing each other and try and get the best out of each other. But yeah, I will see you back in the car. Um, this was a great day. All right, so leaving work now. It's Boxing Day. It's Tuesday. Is it Tuesday? Yes, yeah, Tuesday. Um, so I'm gonna head home. I gotta get some meat that has been defrosting. Now it's meal prep. And then I gotta eat myself as well. Not eat myself, but I gotta eat some food as well, um, so I can make up some calories that I'm behind on slightly. I uh, haven't worked out exactly how much I got left over. A um, couple of hundred, though. I want to say close to about eight, nine hundred calories to go, which is fine. Um, so, yeah. There's that. How was the session? The session was good. Arms as arms. It was nice to see uh, my mate O's when I walked in there. So, you see him in the back of a couple of videos. Um, yeah, I got, got a lot of time for O's. Um, I know you're watching this. I appreciate you. Uh, yeah, it was just really good. It was really nice to get in there. It's a really good atmosphere in there as well. I know it was quite quiet, but it was nice because everyone who was in there was training properly, like a training hard, which is quite a good thing when you're in a gym on early morning to be surrounded by people with a good like attitude towards training. So def definitely helps to be stimulated in that respect. Um, so now... Just need to get home and get this bit done. Um, hopefully the traffic is not too bad getting out of here. 
uh, Boxing Day sales are in full effect in the city, which is a uh, pain in the backside. But I did pick up a jacket in Zara. I say, like, Boxing Day sales are in full effect. I bought mine online. Um, yeah, I picked up a jacket in Zara, so we'll see how that is. Um, it's like a nice orange technical jacket for, like, 30 quid, and a couple of hats as well, and some aftershave. Because Zara aftershave is always, like, top-notch um, and cheap as well. So yeah, got that coming. What else have I got? I got a couple of pick up some shoes. Don't I mention this in the video? Dover Street Market in London I had a sale on, and there was a set of uh, Salomon XT sixes, which I've picked up. If anyone knows anything about shoes, like they know XT sixes are a super popular silhouette from Salomon, uh, and. Uh, yeah, I picked them up in the, oh, what was the colour I went for? Magnet and Ashes of Rose, I think it's called. So yeah, Magnet, Ashes of Rose colourway for them. Was going to go for a black and green shoe, but I've got a set of Air Max uh, Plus that look very similar to like that sort of styling. Just different, just slight, like it's blue instead of green, so opted to go for the, the lighter colour. Ah, uh, everyone was wearing a pair of them when I was over in Copenhagen as well, so, yeah, must be a good shoe. I then, what did I do then? I also picked up a pair of Air Max 1s off there, which I already own, but they were £40 cheaper than what I paid for them uh, from Nike. So, from Nike, I got the uh, Stop Slipping, Keep Ripping, um, or Keep Ripping, Stop Slipping, I can't remember which one it is. Um... Air Max ones and on the DSM sale they were there for 40 pounds less than what I paid so I'm within my returns period so I'm going to return them to Nike and then just keep the ones from DSM so yeah overall good nice couple of pickups still waiting for Mr. Porter to check a few more things on sale if it does um I wouldn't mind picking up like a puffer or a, a bigger jacket I do want to get like a black big hoodie as well just because I've got a, I've got the grey one, I've got like the orangey, yellowy one from uh, View of God Essentials. It's turned a bit of a fashion talk here, which you didn't really need, but that's what you're getting. Uh, uh, I just want to get a black one now. I've got a, I've got a Fear of God one uh, in my mind for it. However, it's not on sale and I refuse to, I say I refuse to have 100, 100 quid on it. I dropped enough let's say on uh, this supreme one when i was over in la so yeah we'll see we'll see see what the sales bring if anything else pops up i might grab it uh but yeah training wise tomorrow is legs tomorrow's a morning leg session as well which is going to be rough i uh should we do my morning cardio down simply um so i've got to call and get the um the bike crank as well ordered to replace the one which is not working right now so yeah i'll get that sorted out tomorrow get the car done in the morning it's cold so i can't wait for my heat and my car to kick in um but yeah that's pretty much it for like what's been going on in life um subway for lunch was class stocked it right high with uh with veg so no complaints there um just gonna see what calories I have left when I get home. See what I can make. And uh I'm gonna go back to cooking the normal meal prep food that I make. Reason being it just works for me. Okay. I know that might sound weird, but it works for me. And I don't wanna overcomplicate things. I don't wanna like cause me to have more calories spent in places that I don't I don't need them or can't have them or whatever. I'm just gonna eat what I normally eat and enjoy it because I know what I can eat around it as well. Um like I tried new stuff, it didn't really work. Well it did work, but it um caused me a lot more stress than I needed and I wasn't a fan of that. I'm not not a big fan of causing myself more stress. So yeah, forget that. Um yeah, normal, normal food to be cooked. Chicken, rice, veg, burgers, and then some pork chops. 
we'll call it a day at that. I haven't got any pork chops, so it'll be chicken and well, chicken again as well. Um, I might have the other chicken. I don't know, I'll butterfly it or something, or dice it up or whatever. I'll figure out something to do with it. Um, but yeah, ultimately, I just want to get it like nice and easy to cook. What's the point? You're not going to stick to it if it's hard. That's the problem. I don't want to spend four hours cooking. For me, I want to spend an hour at most cooking everything and then job done. If I can't do it within an hour and that's everything, I don't want to do it. Because it just takes up too much time. Then one, one hour I can easily spare. Check on a couple episodes of YouTube stuff or you know a show on Netflix or whatever and I'm sorted. But two, three hours? I'm like, no, that's, that's, that's long. Unless you're cooking it with someone and you can have a bit of a fun, bit of fun time with it. You know, it's a nice thing to do, then great. If you're on your own doing it, then yeah, one hour, get it done, get it prepped, get it out of the way. Do it whilst I'm doing laundry. I'm going to worry then. Um, so yeah, that's a plan for this evening. Do that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, though. Like, I'm looking forward to trading tomorrow, getting a card in the morning. I'm feeling good today. Like, given the amount of, I tell you, the amount of food, I had a big dinner, but I didn't really, like, have a lot of dessert, but... Not much else, like, throughout the day, so I'm not going to complain there. Um, I have now acquired a box in my fridge just full of, like, selection box chocolate bars, which is um, going to be a test, to say the least. But, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll portion it all out, control it. I remember when I was doing my big cut years ago, and I lost, like, 21 kilos then, um... It was around Easter time, and I worked in, well, where I worked opposite was a Thornton's, it's like a chocolate shop, essentially. And everyone in the UK uh, knows that on the Monday, well, the first day the stores are open after Easter, so it'll be Easter Monday they'll be open, yeah, because we'll be shut on the Sunday. Is it, or is it the, yes, Easter Sunday they're shut, Easter Monday was the bank holiday, they're open. But because it's not Easter anymore, all the eggs that were still there are just reduced. And for some reason, no one was buying eggs. So Thornton's had like a two for £10 on big eggs and three for £10 on smaller ones. And I went nuts and bought a load of eggs. Went home, broke them all up, um, and then just portioned them out into bags and then just would have a, like a small bag a day. And that worked out to be like a couple of, like about 100 or so calories each day. And it just, yeah, I was able to enjoy chocolate without worrying about spilling over calorie wise uh, so yeah just going to be more accountable for things like that um, did get some cardio in didn't get as much as I wanted to in got about I think about 16 minutes I think I got done so a little bit shorter than I wanted to but I did get to see Stuart did get to see O's so it was nice to chat to some friends for a little bit as well there uh, and got the, got my, my session done as well and I, I thought I looked really good at the end of it so yeah um can't can't fault that. I was right as well. What I said earlier about there being no um, no uh, food in the fridge there because uh, Athlete Kitchen was not open the day before or that day to make food for it. So it makes sense that there was nothing there. There may be some tomorrow, but I'll be trading at zero tomorrow because the leg session. Oh. Time dependent, but yeah, leg session tomorrow. I got my t shirt to pick up at zero as well. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for me for tonight. I'm gonna chuck some music on, I'm gonna head home, gonna get some stuff from my mum's house, and then I'm gonna do some meal prep and some housework. And I'll see you on the next one. Remember, if you are resting, it's Boxing Day today. I hope you've been enjoying yourself. If you've been training, working, whatever, I hope you're okay, I hope you've been lifting heavy, I hope you've been keeping your head up, but whatever you've been doing, I hope you've been taking your multis and lifting heavy, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>